the easiest rule of thumb is right arm, right leg. So if you're right-handed, you go, your right arm is going to be up and your right leg is going to be up. So if you hold it here, the way that you're going to pinch the rope is bringing the rope underneath your right foot. So if I'm, and to start, you guys are not going to pull yourselves too far off the ground. I just want you to get what it feels like to clamp and have control of the rope under your foot. So if I'm right arm, right leg, my right leg comes up and I clamp the rope on my foot. So then when I'm coming down, all I have to do is spread my feet and slide down the rope. So what I want you guys to do at first is just reach up, bring your left hand under your right hand, bring your right foot up and pinch and hold. And I want you to be able to be comfortable holding here. Open up your legs and just slide down. Go first. That's the first part. Right arm, right leg. Right arm, right leg. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you're going to pull yourself up. Where does it go? So, if the rope is on the right part of your foot, okay. you're going to bring your left foot just underneath it. Okay. So, one part of your foot is on top of the rope, and the other part is underneath the rope. Gotcha, okay. You said, like, pinch. That? Yeah. So, you see how you're pinching and you're holding the rope? Uh-huh. When you're pinching the rope, you really want to press down with that, yeah. that yeah, top. Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah. So you're pressing in here. See how I have, I'm literally holding the rope between my feet. So the rope is going to be underneath your right foot, pinched on top. Yeah. Yeah. So you're a little taller. So I want you to stretch as far as you can. Stretch, stretch, pull yourself up off the ground, and then try pinching it now. Pinch, pinch. Good. So this right here, that's the position that you want your foot to be in. Okay. Okay? You can jump down. So then the next steps will be how you get up the rope. But you have to be comfortable with that pinch first. So we'll have Jenna do it, and then, then you guys are going to try it where you're just actually... From this position, you're able to jump up, just take one jump and pinch and hold. So that, that's like the progression. Okay, so right arm, right leg, here we go. That's okay. Yeah, they're going to be wet in a Spartan race. There you go. So yeah, so try to find the rope. Um, don't look up for now. I want you to get a gauge from where the rope is on your body. So it's going to be on the right side of your body. What do you naturally do when you go to go climb rope? Where do you put like? Do you like do this? Or, like, do you have like a thing? Um, no, I just as long as I'm on the right side of the rope, as long as my body's here, I trust in my ability to just hold and and find the rope where my feet are. Right. So if I'm here and I jump up. I can sit and hold the rope there. So part of it is like trusting in this first hold and knowing that if the rope starts on your right side of your body, if you just bring your leg up, all you have to do is swoop this left one underneath it so that it stays. There's another way to learn, it's called the wraparound, but it really burns the outside of your leg and you're constantly having to, having to search for the rope as you go up. Where this way, as I climb the rope, when I release my feet, as, lo as long as I'm staying with the rope on my right side, it's always going to be there for me to find. Okay? Okay. There you go. Find it. Push, push. <laughs> Knees to your chest. Pinch under. Good. There you go. Knees to your chest. Knees, knees, knees. I am not ready for that. I just okay. got a cramp in my foot. But that's, so, but that's eventually your, how you're going to be able to move oh, okay. When you see a lot of rope climbers, they're almost in this inverted position um, because they're creating distance uh, with the rope between their bodies. So like for me, um, I tend to use more of arms when you should really be using more legs. But just to get used to it, from here, when you pinch, right, I pinch, I'm holding the rope, I pull myself up, I'm stretching my body as far as I can, bringing my knees to my chest and pulling up. So what's keeping this rope here is it's pinched in my feet. Yeah. 
Now to come back down, I literally spread my feet. Okay. And you're sliding down the rope. With You've that. just now created space. Okay. Does that make I'm sense? I'm releasing my top. Right. My top. So when you're holding, you're bringing your knees to your chest, right? The rope is staying within your body. Once your knees are at your chest, then you still have that pinch. That's when you're using your legs to press up and reach as high as you can. <laughs> so, I get pinch right. Yeah, and get control of the rope. Right? Is it okay that this is happening? Yes. Okay, that's fine. You didn't do this. <laughs> so, I want you to, from this position here, I just want you to pinch. See how I'm. Yeah, I know. See how it's like that? How can you do it in my shoes and I can't? Well, I'm also used to doing it. So. Okay, what do I do? Okay, now. <laughs> Because right now it's super loose and it's like you're losing. Now use your legs to push up. Legs like this. I lost it again. Okay, so then what you're gonna have to practice from this if you lose it, because let's say you lose it in the race, right? You're going to have to hold yourself, right, and then regain control. So pull yourself up with your upper body, regain control. So you're, it's literally like legs, arms, legs, arms. Once you gain control, you're pushing on your legs to create that space to get up the rope. And just spread, you know, slowly spread your legs so that you can come down. Yeah, that part is here as well, but I think it's a slow thing. But you can, yeah, I mean, you don't have to do it quickly. It can be done at whatever pace you want. Just this past weekend, we had people just like flying down the rope. Um, for me, I'm not as comfortable just no, sliding down the rope, right? <laughs> so you're really going to have to work on that pinch. That's why I'm having you go from this position because all I want you to do is hold, pinch. Just pinch here and stay in this sort of tight position and then relax. Okay. Over exaggerate that pinch part. Go ahead. <laughs> okay. Try to keep this leg to bring it straight up. Yeah. And so if you keep your leg straight up, that foot needs to be flexed so that this can come underneath it. Okay? <laughs> There you go. There it is. Good. So now we're going to practice that a couple times because you don't have that confidence. You don't feel like you're going to. I don't think you trust yourself that you're going to have it just yet. So just practice that a couple more times. Let's see your slide down. Okay, that's, yeah, that's a lot of very opportunity. Bye, dude. Good job, man. Later, Chris. I want you to think of it in two parts. Two parts being legs, then arms. So let's say you're starting with your arms. So I'm starting with my arms, right? I engage my legs, so I'm bringing my knees to my chest. Arms, right? Legs, arms. Then when I'm here, I just slide down. All I do on that part is just let my legs sort of slide apart. Um, for you right now, instead of climbing up and down the rope, I just want you to practice this, but now you're going to bring, really bring your knees to your chest. So you're going to be here, right. There 
we go. <laughs> Sit on fill it. That pinch. Nice dude. So let me see. You use your height. Time. Use your height. So as as you can you can cover more ground, right? So like, we're, you know, we're, we're tall. Uh -huh. So if you bring your knees higher, you're gonna oh, be higher. Able, so when I push, yeah, you'll be you'll be able to climb more rope per effort, right? Yeah. So, so for every, <laughs> yeah. Do you feel it a little? Yeah. So the difference is gonna be for you is higher maybe up knees up this, higher, getting a little bit more of this in your. Foot. Yeah, that's what I'm because when you do. There you this, go. Right, so if you're here, whoops, that was just I'm a little loose. Little Feet were loose. So I'm creating that hole. You're gonna have to just. Do you have more muscle on your feet than I do? What are these guys up to? <laughs> and I have it's the tightest feet. Yeah, that's his reactivating what? his membership. Uh, mm -hmm. He's not in the cysting as I do. I got closer to me. I don't. Don't like, I can just reintroduce that information. Yeah. 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 So, so, so and that's that. gonna come in time. Who's the other guy? I'm gonna say for myself. Hey, Sal. What's up, man? How you doing? Congrats, dude. Are you, uh, you out of the tower? You out of the tower right now? or? Congrats, man. Um, you going to come back and train? Yeah. Okay. So, um, yeah, John will get you squared away. Um, yeah, yeah. So, um, we just created a new uh, membership for you. Let's see. Thanks for coming in. So, while you're pushing down on your top foot, push up on your bottom foot. Okay. So, they're both working together. So you don't just have one and the other one's loose. I want you to have both engaged. Yeah. Okay, so try it one more time. Both, both. There you go. Good. Good now I gotta look at the street. Okay, so <laughs> let's do that a couple more times. Okay. The strength is gonna come with time, but for you to have that feeling, at least now you know. So for you, now when you come and, and like you do a Spartan race, like he was saying, to use your length and your body. For a tall guy, they can probably get up this rope one time. Where you're, so if I'm right handed, right? Right arm, right leg, I'm gonna use my jump. So if I'm here, I'm jumping, I, right? I'm using, and I'm not, sorry, I'm not even as tall as you, yeah. but I'm using that to my advantage. If you ever forget, it's this. So the same way you play basketball, it's like a layup. So you're jumping up, you're gonna have your right arm on top, and you're going to be able to create that space with your legs now. So let's practice for you efficiency now. Okay, so jump up and it says, Yeah, so what, without actually trying to climb the rope, yeah. I just want you to jump up, pinch, and hold, and then slide down. Find it, find it. There you go, come back down. So practice, so practice trying to keep that rope on your right side. If you approach the rope and it's in the middle of you, then you're gonna have to move it and come around it. Try to keep it on your right side until you become more comfortable. There you go, pinch, pinch. Now bring your knees. So from this position here, if you were to keep going, you'd bring your knees to your chest. Like that? Yeah. It's okay.